personalize it, but you, you've got to listen to their story and, and not just listen to it, but understand where they're coming from. And then, uh, you know, give them the, the, you know, calming them down at the same time and then doing the same thing with this other person. And, you know, at the same time in the back end, you all know that, you know, you got to make sure that the lender's going through with the buyer and, and all that good stuff. So um, you are like a psychologist to them. And, um, but it, it took, this is the first, in the three years, this is the first time that I've been on the phones with these people. You know, it took like two weeks to close on this property, but. How many hours? Took, I would say maybe 20 hours I spent on the phone. 20 with, hours. How much did you make net um, net? Uh, today, I'll be, uh, it should be funny, and today I should be making about 10500 on that property. 10500 divided by 20 mm -hmm. is $525 an hour. Yeah, so it's an attorney. <laughs> that's better than being a, that's better than any Walmart greeter is doing today. Yeah, yeah. Nice going. Uh, you've, you have a wonderful thing that I'm envious of. I don't have it. Patience. Yeah. I, I'm patient. I, I'm not like you. I have to be more um, strong and, and just say, you know what? Take the deal off the table. Cause Listen, 10500 10, bucks because you hung in there, because you were the psychologist, the marriage counselor, the lawyer, the banker, the investor. I mean, you wore five, six different hats. So I commend you. Round of applause for Esther here. Thank you. Nice going. Nice going. You, you hung in there. You knew there was something there and you were, we're problem, you know, essentially, aren't we problem solvers? Isn't that our job? Yeah. We're, going, we, the, we're going out there looking for pain. People who have problems, they're not using a realtor. They're not using a conventional marketing method. They have a problem and we're trying to take our knowledge of sales, of marketing, of real estate or life insurance, whatever, of finance, whatever we do. We have to utilize our studies, our knowledge, and go right, and in the beginning, get them so emotional. And it sounds to me, you have the, these people were up in an eight, nine, 10, on a one through 10 scale. They were right up there at an eight, nine, or 10. Yeah. Which are, by the way, who's the most dangerous prospect? The two, two or three, or the eight, nine, 10? The, the two and three, because they can make things worse for you. Well, the two or three can waste a lot of time if you yeah. don't know how to qualify them. But an eight, a person who's an eight, nine, or 10, what's the only direction they can go? Down. Yeah. That's the danger of an eight, nine, or 10. Mm -hmm. That's why we use a lot of direction, a redirection. When we get somebody with all this pain and problems, say, you wouldn't want to do it. Esther, Ms. Telez, you wouldn't want to do a deal today so you and your husband can go your separate ways, split the assets. That isn't what you're looking for from our conversation today, is it? No, no, oh, they you're, wanna, not, oh, you're not. You don't want to solve this problem. You don't want to get it. No, I, I oh. want to solve this problem. I want to, I want to wash my hands from her. <laughs> okay. So if I make you an offer today, what happens with, is your husband going to agree with this or are we going to go back and forth or should I just get off the phone and let you two. Uh, no, handle? let's sign right now. Let's get this over with now. Okay. What's your husband going to say when you get my offer for X? He's going to, he's going to sign, but you're going to have to talk to him. Okay. Right. Can we arrange? Uh, I will tell you what, uh, based on the information you gave me, I will draft an offer. If you give me his email, I will send him a copy. And could you arrange for us to have a, a, a Zoom meeting today at 4.30? Was that possible so we can get this done? Yes, I'll make it happen. I'm sorry, what? I'll make it happen. Somebody asked, oh, who asked me? Who, was the, who asked me, Tom, was that you? Who said, why do you say what so often? Was, it, was that, yeah. Did you, uh, Tom, tell everybody the answer I gave you. Unmute yourself. Um, it, it was because it solidifies their decision in their head. It also uh, gives you a little uh, ego hit <laughs> to hear yeah. the good news again. If I call you up today, stop. oh, Mr. Kaltz, I'm from the lottery board and you just won $10 million. What? <laughs> you might say it again. Good. I like to hear good news twice. Absolutely. Esther,